Hello everybody, my name is Phoenix Arc, and today I'm going to show you all how to edit MCS files. You'll see these all over the place, from how battle maps are stored, to lobbies, to the tutorial world. It's here. Right now I have the t uh, Minecraft lobby. This one is a modified one already, but doesn't change how you edit it. Now, again, I play PS3. I'm a PS3 modder, which means I would use my uh, version of save data. So, oh. Now, yeah, just go ahead and edit that. Now, if you've had, uh, let's say, like if you have a Wii U, it'll probably be savegame.wii. If it's Xbox, it'll probably be savegame.dat. And that's really all it is to it. Just rename it. And here it is. It It's a lot wider because it, that's all snow. That's my lobby. But what you can also do is you can just go ahead and... No, not right now drag out this game data to the uh, to that just turn it into a Java world convert and just like that you can you can open this on the Java edition of the game in fact I'll do that right now Did I open it? It seems to be a bit slow. Okay. I'll go ahead and pause the recording and wait until I get into the game. Okay, guys. I am back, and I have Minecraft loaded up into the world that we just converted. We'll just go ahead and load that up. Ah. Okay, so... Okay, now which direction am I facing? Ah, that makes things quite a bit easier. Oh. Hmm. Unfortunately, there seems to be a bit of a problem. I guess opening it without backing it up probably wasn't a good idea. But... Overall, not bad. Now, I'm sure if you open this on, like, an actual 1.14 world, as it stated when it was converted, instead of just jumping in like I did you would probably get a better result. But, I mean, you can edit it like this. Go ahead and quit this. And you can always convert it back. Super easy. Then all you need to do after that is... rename it back, and you have yourself a nice modified MCS world. That'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And, as always, have fun modding.